breaking bread on the last night to say farewell a king descended from on high to be brought into the depths of hell for the love of a world that from paradise fell savior pendant to the cross wedges and wrist bearing the nail reflecting once again on the sacrifice of Emmanuel and on your last night you washed my feet just before betrayal lips pursed the cheek a kiss like a knife in the back taking on the stripes as thorn penetrates the brow grace given for everything that I lack even in my words to speak of this blood washed vow proposal of heaven your life not taken but laid down, learning what it means to lay aside my stones and cast my crown. Even as you knew the time had come to face this temporal end, the day you died to reconcile enemies to the heart of God as friend. To think yet again as Judas ate at the table where you knew, loved no less even so despite what he would do. Even knowing it was your last day, you washed my feet and my sins away. These words inadequate to express, so quotes the cliche when I confess, all I've got I lay at the altar of forgiveness. Accursed of my own undoing, yet by you blessed, in this place where my weary soul finds rest, bringing purpose once again to the otherwise meaningless. Dead as I am, a prodigal, I throw myself down at the mercy seat as you place a ring upon my finger, rub my nakedness, and kill the fatted calf for me. Learning what it means to find grace to be set free from all forms of spiritual bondage to make me who I'm called to be. To know the end is not the end and death is not goodbye. Resurrection proceeds to usher us into heaven when we die. As we celebrate your life and death, you rose again, and that is why, in remembrance of the cross that forgets my sins acclaim to crucify, my flesh meets the will to take a last breath at Golgotha's hill, to know you are God as I learn to be still, all counterfeits silenced for the hope of something real.